All right, here we go. All righty, hello and welcome. We are so excited to have you on our call tonight. And thank you for taking time out of your schedule to be here. Um, the purpose of this call is for you to see for yourself what we've seen, to feel maybe what we felt, and to experience what we have experienced and hopefully come to the same conclusion that we did. And that was that this is worth trying and today. So you're going to hear some stories tonight and you'll be invited to decide for yourself if this would be a good fit for you or not. First of all, Plexus is a gut health, weight loss, and skincare company, and they are all interrelated, just so you know. So today, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my story. My Plexus story started about three years ago, but actually it started six years ago when we had a daughter who struggled with self-harm, suicidal ideation, and the inability to see in herself the beauty that everyone else could see around her. She struggled with anxiety, depression, PTSD. Those were her diagnoses. She spent many hours in counselor's offices, hospital ER rooms, hospital mental health wings, and finally at an in-house treatment program at a hospital facility. During her admission to that program, the nurse in charge of her medications and diet met with us and told us about some studies that were being done regarding probiotics that were um, helping those that have anxiety and PTSD. So she told us that if we brought them in, she would allow them to be administered. She gave us the list of the eight probiotics that they were using in the studies and sent us out to find them. She, um, we couldn't find all eight in any one product. In fact, we could only find about six of the eight in two different products. So we brought them in and they administered them to her. I can't say for sure that I really noticed a difference, um, but she finished the program and then came back to live with us. It was only a couple of months till her 18th birthday and she decided that she was gonna go live with our da other daughter in Washington. She still struggled though with her self-harm and dark thoughts and she turned to self-medicating. Um, well, she turned to the drug. She, she had left the facility with like a laundry list of drugs to help her with sleep, stomach issues, um, anxiety attacks. So, and unfortunately self-harm was still a thing that she used. We lived overseas at the time, and during the day, which would be her night, I got mul calls multiple times a week from her, telling me that she just couldn't see herself living anymore. She, um, she was in too much pain living, and she just didn't feel like she wanted to live anymore, which breaks a mother's heart. So. As part of my story, I do want to back up a little bit. Um, I have 10 beautiful children, and yes, they are all mine, and I birthed all of them. And some may say that I'm crazy, and I will not deny or confirm that. <laughs> what I do know is that it was hard. It was hard to raise that many children, and during that time, mental health was not openly discussed. I'm not sure what prompted me to talk to my healthcare um, provider about it, but I finally did, and he um, gave me a prescription to try um, with the explanation that depending upon my chemical imbalance, it may or may not work. It would take about eight to 10 weeks before we would know, and if not, then we would try a different, a different prescription. It did seem to work, and I didn't feel so angry all the time or sad. Um, I was on the antidepressants from that time forward, and at the time I started Plexus, I was on two different ones to help me feel normal. It was a constant battle to keep a good balance between dosage and type. Three years ago, though, my friend posted about a probiotic that had eight different strains of bacteria and studies that were shown to help with anxiety and depression. Ding, 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 the little light went off. That was what I had been looking for. So I messaged her to find out more and it seemed like it was the answer to my prayers until I learned that it was with one of those companies. I had tried those things. 
And while I had never been successful with either the products or trying it as a business, something inside me told me I needed to take the small risk and give these a try. Frankly, I was totally prepared to use the 60 day money back guarantee. I did use, I never did use that money back guarantee because things changed. My family noticed that something was different when we took a trip back to the States for the wedding of another daughter. They noticed that my husband actually played with our grandkids, not just sat and watched. They noticed that my husband and I had a much happier relationship. My daughter-in-law asked me what we were doing and I gave her a three-day sample of the pink drink. She is one of those who felt an immediate difference and decided to join for wholesale pricing. Then before I know it, knew it, she had posted on Facebook about it. She had a few friends give it a try and they felt the difference and it became an accidental business. After getting my first check and based on the way I was feeling, I knew this was something I needed to do. I needed to share because I had prayed many nights for a way to help my daughter and also the other families who also were in the same situation that we were in. Help for mental health can be what my father-in-law called a pig's breakfast. Hard to know what will work, hard to navigate, expensive and a lot of, and not a lot of answers. So I got my daughter on Plexus who had struggled. And after about three months, I noticed that I wasn't getting the phone calls during the week like I had. And in fact, by the six month mark, I had to call her to make sure she was okay because I hadn't heard from her. She told me she was sleeping again and hadn't needed to use any of her sleep prescriptions to do it. She was able to eat and had gained 15 pounds, which she desperately needed. She, um, was, she didn't have constant stomach aches and she was able to get a job and wasn't filled with anxiety. Last year, she celebrated her 21st birthday, and when I called her on the phone to wish her a happy birthday, she said, Mom, I'm so grateful for Plexus and what it's done for me. I never thought I would be alive to celebrate my 21st birthday, and I'm so glad I did. And that, my friends, is why I share. I share these amazing products because they changed my world, and... I have a team of friends who also have had their worlds changed and felt the difference be of having better health, that having better health can give them. Sorry, I'm tongue tied. So I also wanted to touch a little bit because this is a business call on the difference that being a part of this company has made for me financially. I'm a senior gold ambassador and I love that even though I'm not in the top ranks of the company, I can help contribute to my family. My husband makes a good living, but there are still things that we like to do that the budget doesn't quite stretch as far as we'd like. This has provided a way for us to make up the difference. In fact, during these past few months, during this whole pandemic, my income has actually increased as people are realizing that their health is important. And so I'm very grateful that I said yes to trying these products. And then I had the courage to share with others. So many lives are being blessed because of that one decision that I made. We don't ever know what is going to happen, but I do know that if you're listening to this call, you're at least curious. You have that feeling in your heart. You're thinking, what if, and I'm here to tell you to take the next step because you never know when your plan B needs to be your plan A. So thanks for letting me share my story. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Deanna. And Deanna is probably one of the most cheerful people I have ever met, but she has an also amazing story and experience to share with you. So Deanna, here you go. Thank you, Debbie. I love your story. I remember your friend calling you and talking to you. I remember that years ago. And, um, and it's been remarkable. It's been such a fun journey to be able to be a part of. So I love it. Thank you. Um, okay, so my name is Deanna Bishop. And I, um, for me, my journey started, um, my health journey, just a little bit of a background, is I am a type 1 diabetic. I am on an insulin pump. And um, I have a degree in health education. So with that, with my background and my knowledge, I really um, tried to be healthy. I went to the gym, I exercised, I ate well. Um, 
I was a night owl, so the sleep wasn't there, but I was a mom, I am a mom to three kiddos. Um, I am a new grandma. Um, and so this is super exciting territory for me. But um, back when my friend Christy said, hey, would you be interested in trying some of these products? I'm like, I'm fine. I have it all under control. <laughs> I didn't have it under control because I was tired and sluggish, a little bit moody. I was bloated, constipation. Um, I was sick all the time, which is funny because you just feel like, oh, you just get, I thought that was normal. You just work so hard, you get run down, you get sick, and then you pull back up again. You fight through the antibiotics and medication and, and that vicious cycle. So that's kind of where I was. Um, so I decided to give it a try. Um, by day three, I was like, uh, this is awesome. <laughs> and, um, but it wasn't a quick fix, even though I noticed the balancing of my blood sugars that gave me the energy and I didn't need my daily naps. I felt good. And I started going to the bathroom regularly. Oh my gosh. That's like maybe my favorite thing. I talk about poop all the time. Yay. Um, so that is kind of a fun, <laughs> maybe not so fun thing for people, but um, my sugar cravings as a type one diabetic, guess what? Sugar is not, I mean, I can just pump up my insulin and give myself more, but that just creates this up and down. Um, and it's not good. So I was just giving myself more insulin. I've decreased my insulin since I'm on a pump, um, overall 30% on a daily basis. And I've stayed at that for the last four years, you guys, that does huge things for your health long-term. Um, so it's been amazing healthy. I'm not sick all the time. I don't catch the flus that come around. I don't catch the cold. I don't, um, I don't need to be on antibiotics. So my health story and my health journey has been, um, in and of itself, a thousand times worth it. Um, my, my family is all on the products. I love it. Um, so it's, like I said, it's that compound effect over time, you're going to feel better. You're going to, um, improve your health and wellness over time. And it just keeps getting better. Um, this was an accidental business. I didn't really know that I needed it or wanted it because I'm, I've always been fortunate to be a stay at home mom, um, get to raise my kiddos. I also am kind of busy and I like to be busy and active doing things. So I've always um, found some sort of employment um, while my kids were at school or, you know, different things. So I've had a few different jobs that I've done because I really enjoy it. And I enjoy people. Um, at the time when I started using Plexus, I was running our frozen yogurt business that I had opened here in our little town with some other families. And I was loving it. I was having so much fun, but do you know what? That ruled my days. My kids worked there, my older kids. Um, and so as far as a job went, um, I enjoyed it, but every day I was there making sure that the employees were doing well. I was stocking the fresh fruit. Um, I'm very hands-on. And so while that was enjoyable, um, trying to go out of town and visit my family that's out of town, that was always a, a juggle. Um, either David or myself had to stay. So um, that was kind of where I was business-wise. I started sharing with people right, um, right away after I started taking the products. I started, I just posted on, on Facebook me and my pink drink. And, um, a lot of my friends were like, what are you even doing? Like, you don't do that kind of stuff. So they knew that it wasn't just, I was just, you know, trying to hawk the new, the latest and greatest. Um, so they knew that it was something that I was passionate about. And so I just shared and right away I had my products covered. So as far as a business goes, that's always something that I tell people, you know what? It's a really good idea to get other people to jump on with you and start with you because first of all, you have accountability partners. And second, you um, have an income that covers your products. So that's never, um, it doesn't ever stand in the way of you continuing on your health journey. So um, I sold, we sold our business in 2017, our frozen yogurt business. It's still a very successful, it was hard to sell it because it was kind of like my baby. Um, I did that for seven years, but I was ready. I was ready to um, turn that over and I can leave anytime I want. I can go on trips. I can go on vacations. I can go hiking with my son. I can go and help in his classroom. He's actually right over there. His desk is there um, for our um, surprise online school. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as far as the, the income opportunity was so surprising to me, I'm a, ve a very strong believer in debt-free living. Um, I always have been, I've always been a saver. 
and I think a saver so that I can do fun things. I wanted that flexibility, um, the income that started coming in because I shared with people who shared with people who um, like Debbie, um, who shared with her, with her daughter-in-law, who shared with the world, <laughs> those kinds of things. Um, I have a lot of my friends who are earning an extra $500 a month and more. And um, I now have an income that is a full-time income on a, not a full-time job. I don't have to um, ask for vacation time. Um, I can, can be a grandma to my grandbaby that lives 20 minutes away. I get to be the mom to my mom and I mean, mom to my son. <laughs> um, the last one that we have here at our house. Um, but the, the income that has blessed our family has made it so that we have the extra flexibility time-wise um, money wise that we don't have to worry about when, you know, it's been a little bit of an iffy, um, last few months here, um, just in our, in our entire world, our country. And that's not something that I was worried about. I wasn't worried about income. I wasn't worried about if we would have, um, enough to pay our bills because like Debbie had said, my income is actually, um, gone up because we have more people who are looking for something to do and share and something that is not dependent on going into an office. We can do our Zoom calls here. Um, like I said, initially, I just wanted to pay for my products because I thought that that would be um, a, a good thing to do. And like I said, that first um, month, guess what? paid for my products and then it just kept on going. And that was a really fun thing. Um, my monthly income is more than a full-time um, income and it in is increasing monthly. And um, it's enough to cover mortgage, car payment. I don't have those, guess why? Because I love debt-free living and we've really um, focused on that our whole lives. So it wasn't that I was in um, a pit that I needed to dig myself out of, but it's something that this income opportunity is so wonderful because I'm able to model for people and explain to people and show them how, not only how they can afford their products, but how they can um, increase their income and make, give themselves that time flexibility and that financial flexibility. I think that we're all looking for. So that's my story in a nutshell, my health and business story. And I think I'm turning it over to Christy, who was my girl, my college roommate, who um, said, hey, do you wanna try this? And I said, sure. <laughs> Thank goodness. I don't know that I gave you an option, but you for sure had an option in whether or not you wanted to do the business with me. Um, my name is Christy Barkley. I'm going to share um, first. I just, I could, had kind of forgotten about it, but until you mentioned like selling your yogurt shop, you guys, Deanne and I were at our first convention together sitting side by side and um i'm known for taking notes so i can legit like fill in 40 pages each session i, I go through three pins during convention and we leaned over to each other i don't know who said it first i don't know exactly how it went but at the time i owned a, a very successful cake pop business and her what she didn't share is her yogurt franchise that she owned was like one of the top producing franchises like in the whole company like not she says i had this little yogurt shop like it was the top performing yogurt shop and and we were like i was like i need to sell my business and i don't know if it was immediate but she's like i need to sell my business also i was like i want to do this full time i want to change lives full time like god has put so strongly on my heart that it's time to sell my business so that I can commit completely to Plexus. And she felt the same thing. It took us each almost a year to fully transition. I think almost exactly a year. We each sold our businesses pretty quickly um, at, about at the same time, a year later, right before the next convention, I think. Um, so my background is that um, I'm a traumatic brain injury survivor and um, Dan has been there for the whole journey since I was awesome until I was not awesome. Um, when I got to the point where I was diagnosed with early onset dementia and I did not really communicate, at least not very well at all. Um, 
my memory was gone. The doctor said it would never return. Um, I could look at my shoes and not know which shoe went on which foot. Um, it was, it was awful. Um, I didn't want to live that way. Um, doctors in 2014 said in 2016, you're not going to recognize your children. In 2018, you'll be in assisted living. And in 2020, you will have passed. We know that you have CTE, which is what professional athletes have. And the majority of them attempt suicide. I also attempted suicide. It's a horrible way to live. I, I had a very amazing career working for an NHL team, making great money. Um, I worked all the time. I didn't care. I loved it. Um, and I lost everything. I, I had no idea who I was. So I say I had a cake pop business. I did. We know now that God gave me a cake pop business so that I would stay alive. I didn't talk. I had somebody that talked to everybody. She took all the calls. She took all the orders. People in my family delivered the cake pops. Like if somebody was picking up at my house, I put them on the front porch because I couldn't actually communicate with them. I didn't speak. I just sat at a table and made cake pops. It's not a really great way to live. So that's super short version of a really long story. And I, I started Plexus and very quickly my head pain went away. I was taking, I was on 13 medications, took 12 to 20 Advil a day just to get up and sit at a table and make cake pops. I didn't do anything else. I didn't, like if my husband came in, I was making cake pops and he wanted to ask me something, I legitimately couldn't process what he was saying because I was dipping a cake pop. So they noticed, my family noticed in a few weeks that I was communicating better, that I had more energy, that I was engaging. And, and we didn't know what was happening. My husband said in the first month, I don't know what that is. I don't know how much it costs, but keep doing it. I said, okay. But three months in, my husband lost his job. So he did what every husband who loses their job does because he had a, a huge income and he canceled everything and um, sold everything, canceled everything. And he said to me that we would have to pull Isaac, our oldest son, out of private school. And I said, no, that we, we couldn't do that. It was not an option. And he goes, it's, we, don't, we can't afford it. And I said, well... I see people making a lot of money with this plexus thing. Let me try. So he essentially gave me three months to be able to have my income at a consistently a minimum of $1,200 a month. Bear in mind that at that time, I could not have a face-to-face -face dialogue. I could not have an over-the-phone dialogue because if you asked me questions, my brain did not process quick enough to answer you. So it was all done through Facebook Messenger and text messages. Um, and I, I grew, like I said, within a couple months, I mean, I went 350 month one, 850 month two, 1200 month three, and have never, ever made less than that. Um, so I paid for my son's private school for the rest of that time. And um, the year that he left to go to an out-of-state college, my youngest son started private school. And so I had to make enough to pay for both of those things. And I did. I'm very, um, my husband, again, makes great money now again. And so it's the extra things. It's I have such a passion for education that I want my children to go to the very best schools possible. And so I know, okay, I really have unlimited learning potential. And I'm so fortunate that um, my health has continued to get better month after month after month. So if anybody thinks, well, I can't do what she does because she, she just talks a lot and she has all this knowledge and she has all that, please know that I was consistently making $1,200 a month when I could not speak. When I started earning that income, I still did not leave my house by myself. Only with my husband, my parents, or my oldest son, who could drive at the time. Um, I just knew what needed to happen. I also knew what it was doing for my life, and I started sharing. But more than anything, I'm going to be honest. Deanna was never and has never been financially based. I am and always have been. 
um, needed the money for certain things. There are just certain things that are my responsibility in our home. And I've been fortunate enough to make it into the top um, one and a half percent in our company. I am grateful that it's really unlimited what I can earn. And people who have been on my team for a long time also know that even when I was doing better and I was speaking and I was doing team trainings, everybody knew that if I trained for two hours that day or spent two hours in communication, that I would no longer be doing, I would be completely off for the rest of the day. That's all my brain could do. My team got me for about two hours a day and that was it. And I was able to grow. So where I am now, as opposed to where I was when I went Ruby and senior Ruby is night and day. So I really just say, if you want this, you can have this. There's no reason. You just have to want it. Um, it's been a blessing to our family. Um, also, like Deanna said, the time freedom. Like whenever I want to go somewhere, I just go. I just do. It's amazing. If I volunteer in my son's classroom, I just go. Um, I make far more than I made working in the NHL. I can tell you that. And I work remarkably less. When I was in the NHL, I worked between 80 to 100 hours a week. Now, if I work 20 hours a week, it's been a very heavy week. So that's my story. I'm so excited to share it with you. And I'm going to turn it over to Debbie to close us up. I know it's late and everybody has uh, kids to feed or bed to go to or dinner to eat. So Debbie, why don't you close us out? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, wow. I love hearing Deanna and Christy's stories. Um, these are just our stories. Some of you have listened and you're going to say, oh, I could not do this. But I'm going to encourage you to take a leap of faith because if I can do it, you can do it. And I used to be that person that would say, I can't do that. We tell ourselves stories that aren't true. And I'm going to tell you right now to stop it because it doesn't matter who you are. You can and do make a difference and you can have that difference be big. So some of us need an extra 500 to a thousand a month and that's life changing and we can help with that. Some of you are sitting there asking yourselves quietly if there are leadership opportunities and can somebody actually make a professional income doing this? And the answer is yes. We are looking for people all over the United States and in Australia, New, Mexico, um, New Zealand, Mexico, and Canada. So you just need to identify yourself as someone who would like to get into leadership and we will put you into our leadership program. So what we wanna ask you today is to get with the person who invited you to this call and they're gonna follow up with you right afterwards. And they're going to see if you are a one, a two, or a three. One is somebody that is just interested in using the products and that's all. And that's wonderful because the products change lives. Or a two that you would like to use the products and you want them to be paid for. So you want to be making somewhere in the 500 to 1,000. You want them to be paid for it and a little bit extra. So that way it will be a, you know, in the five to 500 range a month. Or you want to be, have a professional level income from it. And that's a level three. So we appreciate you being here and listening to our stories. And we thank you for your time and we, I think we're just going to go ahead and close out. Is that right? So thank you again for everybody for being here. Take care. Have a good night. And we will chat with you. Yes. Thank, thank you, for... Debbie. Thank you, Deanna, for sharing your stories. Thank you for everybody jumping on. And I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Thank you.